Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making these fluffy golden buttermilk waffles. We're gonna top them with some hot and crunchy spicy fried chicken, and then we're gonna drench everything in maple syrup because we are making none other than classic chicken and waffles. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with a brine for our chicken. I'm gonna add some warm water into a large bowl. Next, I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt, some kosher salt. Now you can add in some garlic, some peppercorn, some thyme, you can really dress this brine up, but I'm gonna keep it super, super simple here, all right? Okay, so once that salt has dissolved, I'm gonna add in my little chicken tenderloin. I like to use chicken tenderloin whenever I'm doing um, chicken and waffles because you know, you can cut it with a fork. It's just, it fries up easy. I just like it, okay? But you can use bone-in chicken if you want to. I ain't mad at you. Go ahead and place that chicken into that brine. We're gonna cover it up, refrigerate it for about 30 to 45 minutes when it comes out. Dry it off and we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so in this little tray, I'm gonna add in my self-rising flour. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of corn starch, get everything nice and crunchy. And next I have a whole lot of seasons, honey. Some Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, parsley, all that yummy, yummy stuff. Not too much though, I like to keep it simple, okay, simple. But go ahead and just mix this all together, make sure everything is combined. Then I'm going to remove about a half a cup of my little spice flour mixture and we're gonna place it in another container here, right beside it. We're gonna make kind of like a batter that we're gonna dip our chicken in so go ahead and add in a little egg in there I'm also gonna add in some buttermilk and then finally some water to kind of thin everything out just a bit We're gonna stir this up until we have a nice little batter now You can add in some hot sauce if you want to I ain't mad at you honey hot sauce would be really good in here, but no not today not for us Okay, so we're gonna first dump this into the flour dump your chicken into the flour Give it a nice light coating of flour and then place it into that little batter we made Coat it front and back, pick it up, let it drain off a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to place it back into my flour mixture to coat it again, because we want this to have a nice thick coating of flour. Go ahead and just place that flour on top, front and back, move it around, shake it around, um, shake off all that excess flour, and then place it on your little cooling rack, okay? Just like that. And once you have all of those chicken tenders breaded, go ahead and give it another another coating of flour, just flour. Don't put it back in the batter, just flour. Okay, so now we are ready to go. My oil is nice and hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and just place my chicken tenders in the oil. I love that these chicken tenders fry up so quick and easy, okay? So quick and easy. It took me like, what, six minutes to fry these things. It was so quick, I loved it. Place it in the oil, let it cook. Whenever it's done, it'll be nice and golden. The insides will be so tender from that brine. That brine is a ticket, mm-hmm, look at that. Oh, so golden and crunchy and spicy. That is how I like it, just like this. So yeah, just go ahead and place them on a wire rack to let them drain off and you can work in batches. So go ahead and start your next batch of chicken. I like to go ahead and get them a little sprinkling of fresh parsley while they're nice and hot. And now go ahead and place these in the oven at 250 to keep them warm while you make your waffles because you want everything to be nice and hot when you eat it. So, all right, to make our waffles, I have some flour in a bowl. I'm gonna add some baking powder. Then we're gonna add some salt and a little bit of sugar. Go ahead and just whisk that around, get everything combined. We don't want to have any pockets of baking powder so whisk it really good now i'm going to make a little center a little well in the middle of my bowl so i can add my other ingredients i have some melted butter going in there i have some oil i'm going to add in some egg yolks all right and next i'm going to add in some buttermilk and then i'm going to add in some whole milk all right some good old-fashioned whole milk don't use that skim milk stuff, okay? Don't don't use that. Okay, now I'm gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract. Let's go ahead and dump that in there. And you guys, I love this recipe. It's my favorite waffle recipe because they are like so crisp on the outside. The inside is just nice and fluffy. I love this recipe. Okay, stir it up. It's okay if the batter is a little lumpy. Now we're gonna move on to our egg whites. Remember these, we did not add these into our batter. So we wanna beat these until they are nice and light and fluffy. This is gonna give our waffles that nice fluffiness. Mm -hmm. Even though we're not making Belgian waffles, like these egg whites is, yeah. You wanna do that, okay. So they are nice and stiff, so go ahead and just fold these right into your waffle batter very, very gently, okay. So once you have them all folded in, we are ready to make our waffles. Yay, that looks good. Okay, so 
Um, I got my waffle iron all heated up. I'm going to add some butter. Next, I'm going to place my batter right into the center of my waffle iron. Depending on what kind of waffle iron you have, just follow the um, directions on your waffle iron maker. I got this one from Amazon and I love it because it makes those little thin, crisp, classic waffles that I grew up eating. I love these kind of waffles. But go ahead and cook them. Won't take long at all when they are done. They will be nice and beautiful and golden and fluffy like this. Yes, love it. Okay, now this is where I usually start getting really really happy because it's so close to eating this meal now when the waffles come out brush them with some butter don't stack them up just brush them with some butter get that chicken from the oven everything is nice and hot go ahead and plate it up stack that chicken on top of those waffles like oh it's so crunchy y'all y'all it was so bomb okay now you want to just add on lots and lots of syrup don't worry honey the chicken the crunchness of the chicken the fluffiness of the waffle it can handle it so add so much syrup on here i have a recipe for homemade syrup if you want that um, I'll link it above and then just dig in all those flavors y'all the flavors and the textures you got salty sweet spicy all that going on all that going on but that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like comment share all that good stuff later